What you're about to see is from Rebel Base, IGN's weekly Star Wars show. It's Kieran Gillen, writer of the Marvel Darth Vader comics. If you like this video, why not watch the entire show? Hmm? Oh, it's a Vader special this week. Yes, yeah, so we didn't write an entire theme tune. Because <laughs> I wasn't allowed. Um, but this week we are <laughs> going to be discussing Darth Vader. That's right. probably tell. Yeah. And we're doing this because issue one of the Vader comic has just come out. We spoke to the writer, Kieran Gillen. Uh, we had him in on the iGen UK podcast. You can check out the entire thing mm. online. But we thought we'd just show you what he was saying about how much it means to him to write the baddest mamma jamma in the galaxy. I wanted to do a villain project for a long time. Mm. The idea, there was lots of things about the project I liked, but specifically what held me back. The idea that basically we would be doing important scenes. Right. As in the idea, this is basically, okay. the thing that attracted me to Vader in the end was that, you know, there's, it's not just doodling in the margins of a story. Yeah. Mm. These are fundamentally important scenes for Vader's history. This is canon yeah. in terms of stuff. You know, we've never seen Vader's response to understanding that um, Lucas is son. You know, and that those kind of things, mm. and uh, we've never seen um, lo lo lots of things in there, specifically yeah. the reactions. And it's like I would get to do that, okay. And I would get to the person. That's a lot of weight to shoulder. Like. And it, and it was like, uh, the weight doesn't bother me. The question is, would I be best for it? Okay. Because you know, Star Wars is something that is fundamentally important. This is like I'm at the age that Empire was the first movie I saw in the cinema. Yeah. So in other words, okay. these are formative. Exp as someone wow. who writes Pulp Fiction for a living, yeah, these are formative things that lie in the gut of me. Yeah. Um, and the thing about Star Wars is I'm the sort of fan where I, if it's not good, it's not really Star Wars I care about. Yeah. <laughs> and I say that I say that in kind of like it's really the, the quality is what matters. It's yeah. got to basically up to up to that scratch. And Jason's job is quite different from mine. Yeah. Jason's trying to make it feel like Star Wars with the Rebel cast. Yeah. So in other words, so Jason's comic just to fill people in launched about three weeks ago or something yeah, like that. Like Star Wars issue one and York Up Vader's set at the same time as his comic? Yeah. Mm. Well, the idea is they're kind of they're in exactly the same period. And okay. then sort of, we're kind of, what I always describe as soft crossover. Okay. In Jason's book, Vader is the arch villain. Yeah. You know, he's Darth yeah. Vader. <laughs> you know, he is the, yeah. this, uh, this oppressive, <laughs> enormous yeah. black figure who is yeah. behind them every step of the way. They can't escape the guy. In my book, that's what he does on Tuesdays. You know, um, he's a man who is. He's, he's got. Um, so got many, he's got a file of facts. He's yeah. got so many other things to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, that's, and that alone, basically, the primary thrust of my yeah. book is the other things. Yeah. Okay. At the same time, whilst him trying to find time to hunt down Luke. Because yeah. he, you know, quite early in my run, he realizes who Luke is and what that means. And right. like, my last 20 years <clears> of my life has been a lie. In some way, and that's that's about as big as it gets. I love how they flip the perspective. Yeah, definitely. And so you're seeing it, like he says at the opening crawl, it was a time of insurgency. Yeah, <laughs> and a lot of fun in writing that. Yeah. And I think it's really cool because you're gonna, you can't make him a scary character in his own book. Yeah, you can see that people might be scared of him. Yeah, I think it's interesting seeing it from that perspective and playing with that kind of duality. I think so. Yeah, and I just love the fact that you know Darth Vader has got a lot on. As well, <laughs> managing people, got yeah. bureaucracy. Yeah, so in Empire does not run itself. <laughs> I think it's really interesting how they're going to build out his cast of characters. Yeah. From what Gillen says, that they're going to be um, a lot of bounty hunters, a lot of That's unsavory right, yeah. types, not just other people within um, the Empire itself yeah. who Vader's going to interact with. There's one character actually which we do know something about, and the reason I want to bring her up because anyone who's watched any episodes of Rebel Base knows how much we're obsessed with this idea of someone going around finding artifacts, and that is one of what one. Of the characters. <laughs> this is the doing. thing we're known for. He's yeah. obsessed with artifacts. He's basically like time to. That's right, yeah. You're talking about the characters though, and the bounty hands, and basically what this girl does is she goes around, finds artifacts, and puts them in the wrong hand. Yes. But I like that. And I, I think one of the big things that you know he's dealing with is huge things. And I think the other thing to take from what he said was, you know, the thing that the last 20 years of Vader's life have been a lie. Very early on, he finds out who Luke is and the implications that, that has. I think what speaking to him, Gillen made me realize is just how important these to Marvel Comics are really. Yeah. You know, it's controversial when it happened, but yeah. while the extended universe was put to one side, rebranded as legends, yeah. no longer canonical, kind of a reset yeah. and a redefining and trimming back of the um, um, Star Wars universe. And these Marvel Comics are like doing big, important moments, filling yeah. in really sizable gaps, yeah. you know, getting into the psychology of Vader between those two movies. Definitely, And yeah. that's really fascinating. We talked about the spin-off movies doing yeah. that perhaps, but the Star Wars comics are doing it right now. Yeah, it's crazy. 